What is going on guys? I am back from a video and today we're going over the Jordan 1 Retro High Tokyo Bio Hack. Now this sneaker is set to release September 4th, 2020 for a retail price of 170 There's also going to be a grade school retail for 130 And there's definitely some good money to be made here when it comes to resale. Um, there's going to be a lot of sizes available. And it's going to be a pretty high resale margin on this, especially off the day one. So you can pick it up in person, that would be ideal. So let's go over it. Now the risk for compensating for resale, I would say it's pretty moderate. Um, I would not worry about it too much, especially since a lot of websites are free return. And for Jordan 1 to break, it's damn near impossible. And this is this one's getting a lot of good reviews, so I would just stick to this one for resale. Um, it's not something that I would wear. It's a little too out there. I'm more of a crisp and clean kind of colorway. This is out, more out there. Um, but this is definitely a nice personal cop as well. Um, if you're going to cop for personal, for uh, manual users, it will be kind of tough. Uh, getting the sneaker manual tough, or getting the sneaker manual is going to be tough anyways. But there's definitely good opportunities to snag a pair. Now you see Sneaker releasing on Sneakers app. And uh, I'm sure it'll be releasing on a lot of the foot sites. Uh, I've not confirmed that yet, so I'm not going to flat out and say it. Um, but once I do get a list of the site list, I will link them in the description box below. So probably by the time this video goes up, that will be available to me. So I'll make it available to you guys. Now, there is a grade school version, like I said before. But the men's sizes, as you can take a look here, um, I would see about the average price be about 260 270 after release day uh, the best size to go for a 7 through 12 Jordan 1 is starting to grow like for the sizing yeah usually you'd go for the smaller sizes but a lot of the bigger sizes are not doing well I mean obviously the really big sizes you get to 13 through 18 those are gonna have a little less value to them because there's not that many people out there not that not that much demand for those large sizes um, so stick to 7 through 12 for resale purposes um, but if you are a uh, if you are copying for personal, if you're outside the tw uh, 7 12 range, um, then you might have better luck uh, getting a pair for your own. So that's that's a plus to that. Uh, and for the grade school sizes, um, so they're going to retail for 130 I would say there will be about 200 210 It's going to be about in the same resale for the men's sizes, but they'll be a little bit harder to move um, if you have the patience or if you have the buyers lined up or if you just know what you're doing when it comes to grade school. For me, I don't have that much luck moving grade school for the price that I want it. Um, but that is also a very good option for resale, especially for manual too, because I feel like a lot of people are going for the men's sizes, and then grade school um, it will be an easier manual cop. And also, I've heard a lot of great things about grade school holds. A lot of the GS sizes are good to hold, so um, I would definitely make a hold to sell on this sneaker uh, after it after it does release. That's all I really got for you guys. I hope this is enough information for you to make a move on the sneaker tomorrow and hopefully make some money or just cop one for personal. Like I said before, once I get a link to all the sites dropping the sneaker, I'll make sure to drop it down in the link below or in the description box below for you, and I'll see you in the next one.